Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will learn how to apply ad hoc in control PTFs, PTFs that you may need to fix a defect or prevent a defect from occurring. Please note that in this video, we are going to assume that the PTF has already been downloaded from EFIX and uploaded to our ZOS system. As you can see in this COS system, we have PTF PF02929, that PTF, which is the actual PTF, and the hold file for that PTF. Please note that all PTFs will not necessarily have a hold file. To apply ad hoc in control PTFs, we must first learn how to invoke ICE. The easiest way to invoke ICE is to bring up your baseprep.install library. In this example, our base prefix is bmcioa.cba280b, and this is our install library. Hit enter. You can use the m line command to bring up the member list for this library, and you can use the locate command to locate the IOA ICE member. From there, you can use the ex line command to execute ICE. From the ICE main menu, select Maintain Your Environment, then select Apply PTFs, then select Apply Ad Hoc PTFs. Select step one to start a new ad hoc activity. If you have selected the step before, you will be prompted that it's already been selected. If so, simply hit Enter, complete the step, and proceed with step two, manage PTF files. The manage PTF files panel shows the dataset naming convention of the PTFs that the process expects to use. We recommend copying the dataset name for the PTF, swapping to where you have the PTF, and simply renaming that to what the process expects to use. Swap back and do the same for the whole data if it exists. Swap back. If you hit enter to refresh, you will see that the PTF is now available for the process to use. Once a PTF is available, simply PF3 and proceed to the next steps. We will not show you the rest of the process because they are pretty much automated. They are simply a matter of selecting the process, submitting a job if you need to, and then reviewing the output of the job that the process presents you. If you do encounter any problems with any of the succeeding steps, please do not hesitate to open a case with support. We will be happy to assist you. Thank you for your time. The Control and Workload Automation Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.